What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, this time, honey, I am back to read what the people got to say about love and marriage, Huntsville. So without further ado, let's get off into it. Listen, let's read some posts, honey. So one person says, so Melody was out here pulling up to people's houses, spray painting cars, ready to fight Ariane with her friend over Martell, laid down, had two kids, found out he was cheating and had two more kids, stayed after the whole world knew he had a girlfriend on the side and didn't leave until the side girlfriend got pregnant, but Martell never made her come. Huh? You talking about the big, you talking about the big O. Okay, you talking about he never gave her the big O. Just say that. Yeah, the math ain't mathin'. I believe Marty hook, line, and sinker. Oh, child. I don't know why people don't believe Melody shit. I'm not surprised. Okay, I am not surprised. Because when you are dealing with a man with MPD, they are not in tune with your needs. What did Melody tell him? It would really turn me on if you would talk freaky. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, I don't want to do... But you want your damn dick sucked every day like it's a damn lollipop. If you don't get your ass up out of here playing with me, shit. Okay. Let's see what the people got to say. So one person says, you're probably right. And the fact they look good together as a power couple, that look got all messed up when the whole world found out deep down she wants Martell back and their previous life. That's now tainted. That's why she stays mad. So I see there are a lot of people that they think that Melody is in her feelings Melody ain't in her feelings. She in her bag. Shit. She ain't, she ain't think about no damn Martell. He's raggedy and he's on the first floor. Okay. And he talking about, yeah, the bed was wet. The bed was all, that ain't shit. Okay. Shit. Somebody could have peed. Damn it. <laughs> that ain't shit. Okay. If you don't get up out of here. Get out of here with that foolishness. So, honey, Mr. Martell Hook-Headed Ho has clapped back at DJ Richie Scott. DJ Richie Scott, he like the Will Smith of YouTube. He don't bother nobody. Who got a problem with DJ Richie Scott? DJ Richie Scott is a good person. He not on the first floor. He at least uh, he on the top, okay? At least on the fourth floor, if not on the top. But y'all know these, you know, <laughs> these ninjas, honey, on the first floor, they can't get along with nobody. That's how you know somebody crazy. Can't get along. Got a problem, honey, with everybody. A person got a problem with everybody is a person that just want to be mad. Okay. You just want to be mad when you should be in your bag. Oh, that's good. Miss Robinson. Ooh. See how I just be coming up. See when you are intelligent and stuff, you you can come up with with stuff, honey, at the drop of a hat, honey. Okay. But anyways, DJ Richie Sky says to Martel on social media. No, he didn't say this to Martel. He was talking about him. He said, yo, he's wild. LOL. Just last episode, he was screaming at Mrs. Nail about never mind. Let me mind my business. So Mr. Martell, hook-headed ho, honey, he asks DJ Richie Sky and says, nah, you wild. This fake-ass narrative they're pushing is really wild. Please, no, plus yes, mind your business and Nail should have done the same. Child, shut your ass up, okay? So a person says, I am confused. How do you agree to the fake narr narrative to make a few American dollars, then get on social media clowning about it? That's why I rock with Marceau because you ain't going to see him talking about being forced into no foolish storyline. Marceau ain't no damn better than, um, than Martel. He just, you know, 
he just go give you some stupid ass analogies and you know he go beat around the bush take all day to get to the damn point okay talking loud and saying nothing honey okay them scots honey they you gotta watch them even listen to maurice and how he was like talking about kimmy yeah you know she she want to blow her hair in the wind and i told her babe you, you technically you know you can't do that why would you say that after your uh woman then went through breast cancer why would you say that and she lost you know her hair yes she cut it but why would you say something like that? So yeah, just callous, nasty, just, that's why I would never marry none of these ninjas. Mm -mm. No, they ain't no damn good. You got, you know, ninjas out here like them, Martell, a cheater, the other ones, they liars, they be gaslighting, they, they ain't no better. Okay. So another person says, Tisha says she never caught Marceau cheating, but that doesn't mean he didn't cheat. Exactly. She know that man cheated. And she also knows that, guess what? She don't plan on going nowhere. I don't give a damn what she say. Okay. The thing with Marceau and Tisha that I want to keep reiterating, because some of y'all keep missing a point. We live in a world where I notice people like to gaslight. They like to see things from a black and white perspective. Well, she didn't catch her man cheating, so what? And I told y'all, especially in the black community, everything in relationships and marriages has to be a beating or a cheating. Y'all don't see all the gaslighting that man does to her on that show. Y'all don't see how he can't get up and, and say a few kind words. Y'all can't see how now they finally went to Africa, but hell, you sh that's what you should have did first. He didn't even spend, uh, I don't think they last anniversary, he was somewhere else with some men and she was with some women. And yeah, you could travel separately, but why y'all not celebrating y'all anniversary? Okay, stuff like that, that's suspicious. So ain't nobody hating on their marriage, okay? Their marriage is still on the first floor. I don't need him to come out and say that he been cheating, okay? I also heard what Funky Doniva said. Let's get to what he had to say. I kind of left the reality TV reviews alone, and that's another reason why I consciously made a choice that moving forward, I will never let y'all know any longer who in the entertainment industry I know. Because the moment y'all see me take a photo with one person, have a drink with one person, then I go to get my commentary because that's the person you don't like all of a sudden, I'm labeled biased. Funky, with all due respect, I'm a very big fan of yours. I love you. But you name drop because that's your way of bragging. Okay? You, you like to brag. Okay? So don't act like it's the people and when really it's you. You love bragging about who you know, who you about to do business with. Okay? That's on you. I have said the same thing about Marceau and Tisha. Now, here is the thing, right? You've got Marceau, the real person, and then you've got Marceau, the character that he plays on that doggone TV show. Do I think Marceau has cheated around on Tisha? The, the way he acted on that show, probably so. Probably. Probably so. The way he acts on the show. But I also know that being that dickhead character that's, that's got you, you like him, but you hate him, is also something that Marceau gets off on. That is not a character. That is who he is. And we have to get out of this. Oh, he's just doing it for TV. No, he's, he's pretty controlling. I'm going to break down um marceau's behavior and cliff's behavior from bell collective and we're gonna get to we're gonna get down to the rudy and the tootie of why they are so controlling and why it's very abusive okay and i don't think a lot of black people realize how abusive and disrespectful that behavior is he literally tells Tisha, you don't have the right to have 
feelings about stuff. You don't have the right to get upset. How do you tell somebody that all men want to be loved for who they are? They want to be loved and accepted for who and what they are, but yet they have such a freaking problem with doing it for women. And that's why I keep preaching and teaching to y'all. I think some of these men want a slave as a wife or a girlfriend, and then they get to be king. That's why you see so many marriages and relationships where it's, it's pretty normal if the man is cheating. It's very normal if he curses at her, if he puts his hands on her. He kept being a man. That kept what being a man. Uh, well, a man, and I actually had a man tell me, a man that I actually used to admire. But once I, I heard how he spoke about marriages and relationships, I was like, yeah, we got to throw the whole nigga away. To the trash is where you will go. Okay, right on that curve with the rest of these fools. Yeah, he got to talking that shit to me. Yeah, but being a man, that's, that's, uh, you know, it's normal to be controlling. No, what y'all do is y'all make excuses for y'all toxic, demonic, deplorable behavior. And when it comes to a woman, you want to judge her harshly. You want to act like she's the worst person on the planet. She's mean. She's evil. She's bitter. She's spiteful. She needs to go to therapy. Okay, she hanging on to her past relationships. I done seen it in my comments. You bitter over that nigga. You just bitter. All you do is attract narcissists. Y'all just be gaslighting people. Gaslighting people, disrespecting people, telling them what they've been through. Everybody, everybody is a culmination of all their experiences and what they have been through. And if certain experiences wouldn't repeat more than three times, I wouldn't have a a dog in this fight. I wouldn't have a story to tell you. We all can't be lying about all these men, these These black men, there are some white too and probably other races, okay? We all can't be lying about this bad behavior, the abuse, whether it be physical, emotional, okay? Everybody can't be lying. Everybody can't be bitter. How about y'all be better and there wouldn't be a story to tell, You wouldn't have to rewrite history if you would simply do better in the future and in the present. You wouldn't have to rewrite history. You would be like, you know what? I'm getting sick of them talking about black men like this. So the next, you know what? The next best thing I could do is not be one of the niggas that they talking about. That's what y'all should do. Be better. Be better. Don't expect for us to, you know, act as if we don't have feelings and opinions and emotions because when we act like that, we too what? Masculine. Oh, she thinks she the man. See, that's some other bullshit. That's some more gaslighting. Oh, I can't deal with her. She got a strong personality. She know who she is. That should be the woman that you want. But y'all want weak bitches that you can put in lowest terms. Oh, my bad. They're already in lowest terms. They're already, okay, on the first floor. They've already been reduced and deduced, okay, and lowered from their potential, okay, Lastly, y'all so quick to want to damn those people's marriage. Where the lady at? Where she at? Where she at? Come on now. Everybody else side chick is so quick to want to run to the blogs. Where she at? And if he did cheat on Tisha, if he did cheat on Tisha, 
he cheated on her the right way. The way that y'all need to be asking y'all fucking husbands to do. Because see, y'all husbands cheating on y'all and embarrassing y'all and got y'all somewhere crying, watching, waiting to exit here, ready to burn up his clothes. And what I don't like about what Funky is saying, and this is where I disagree, I still love him, right? Because I'm able to disagree with him and, you know, still be a fan of his. Like I said, he's playing into the stereotype of what most of these black people do, whether it's a man or a woman. They focus on the beating and cheating of different relationships and marriages, so, well, you know, he ain't cheating. So he, he must be doing good by her. He ain't cheating. That man be speaking down to her. He travels without her. She used to have to beg him to take her out on date night. She down to the damn reunion trying to tell Stormy to pay an invoice. And it's just like, girl, Tisha, you live in an apartment. Your house still ain't done. Okay. Your ass don't know if you coming or going. You got to beg this man to finish your house so y'all can move out of the damn apartment. You coming for Stormy, she got property. She got acres. Courtney allows Stormy to be herself. He's not trying to control her. He's not trying to confuse her. Where's the side chicks? He's not trying to triangulate her and make her question and doubt herself and put her in competition with a bitch that's raggedy on the first floor. Because a lot of y'all do that. Go and get all these ugly ass, raggedy, dusty, crusty ass, you know what? Okay. These 304s, do we still say, well, bitch, I say 304. <laughs> Look, listen, is that in, honey? Okay. But yeah, he don't, he don't put Stormy in a burning house. He don't disrespect her. Shout out to Big Lou too. I wasn't, you know, completely a fan of him and Tiffany's marriage. I didn't feel like they were, you know, the most honest and transparent, honey. There's that word. I didn't feel like they was, you know, on that. But I didn't see him putting her down. I didn't see her. I didn't see him um, disrespecting her and checking her and telling her she doesn't have the right to feel a way. That's abusive. But I don't see any of you all like any black men. I don't see anybody speaking out on that. There are a lot of women that cover Love and Marriage Huntsville. And they never say that. They This is what y'all say about Marceau. Oh, he just, you know, he real old school. Uh, no, nigga sounds real uh, emotionally abusive. That's what he sounds like. Let's call a spade a spade. Okay, let's call it for out for what it is. I want to make Tisha believe that her husband cheated on her so bad, and maybe he did. And maybe he is. And maybe he did pay her off, according to some of y'all. But bitch, ain't that the right motherfucking thing to do? No. Number one, don't cheat on your spouse. That's number one. Just leave. Okay. Have a conversation and say that it's over. And like I always tell women, if you're not going to leave, if you're going to stay, you might as well play. If he got somebody else, you need to be finding somebody else. If you go stay. Stop putting yourselves in a position of being a slave. And then you have a lot of women on YouTube. Oh, well, if I make him pay for things, well, that's patriarchy. Let me say this. And hopefully a lot of you all are like me. I look at the bitches that say what they not go have a man do. And then I look at the ones that get men to do what they need them to do. I tend to follow those that get men to do what they need them to do. Okay, if you... Go have a man in your life. He need to be helping you. He need to be coming out of pocket, period. And he also needs to come out of pocket in terms of his morals, his values, his ethics, his decorum, how he treats you. 
He shouldn't be doing all this flirting behind your back. All of that type of shit. I'm sorry. That's cheating too. No, no, no. I'm a flirt. I'm a flirt. I've had, I didn't have men tell me that guys. Yeah. I'm, I, it's okay. If I flirt, you know, I, 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 I'm a flirt. And this is what these niggas is doing. Cause I know, I know that these games, you trying to warm up the slot machine. That way, if that shit don't work out, you could pick a fight with your woman. And then you think you gonna come over here and get with me. Shit. Okay. But these same men, and this is how I know so many men are demonic, right? Not all of them. Okay. But it's a lot of y'all. <laughs> y'all love double standards. It is okay for you to do all this flirting behind your wife and girlfriend's back. She better not do it though. She better not um, get lonely at night and start flirting and start talking to other guys. She better not do that. Okay. She better, she should be so faithful to a man that's not treating her right. She should be just, because after all, she's a woman and that's just how women are supposed to be. They're supposed to be the bigger person in the marriage or in the relationship. Shit. Y'all know I don't subscribe to that. You are a human being. And in my opinion, you are not cheating. You are redirecting your energy back into yourself. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Okay. You're redirecting your energy back into you. Why would you keep pouring into somebody that's disrespecting you and trying to lower your self-esteem and trying to gaslight you, make you question and doubt yourself? Have you completing, you know, competing, you know, with a ooga booga that's not on your level, okay, at all, not just in the looks department, but just, you know, being a, a great person, being respectful. See, a lot of these women that they cheat with, they're not respectful. They don't have no ethics, no morals, values, decorum. They're on the first floor. Anything goes, okay? Thing to do. At least he had enough. If he did do it, at least he had enough respect for his goddamn wife to not embarrass her in front of the whole wide world. Like, come on. And so that's why I got so mad with the love and Huntsville marriage crowd because Melanie was going through what she was going through with her divorce, and she was making it a point to want to make Tisha be in the same boat that she's in. And maybe Tisha is in the same boat she's in, but until you can provide some concrete receipts. We saw Arion Curry. Until you can provide some concrete receipts. Like I said, I will keep reiterating. They need to see a person because other than that, Tisha has a good marriage. Now, this is the thing with Melody and nobody ever really clears this up. Maybe some people do. The thing with Melody and Tisha is Tisha was trying to laugh at the fact that Melody's husband was cheating on her. She was trying to throw it in her face. I never see anybody talk about, you know, how wrong Tisha was to do that. You can't be somebody's friend and then spray them with a tea about what their husband is doing. She was too happy and anxious, you guys, to do that. And y'all know it. So what Melody said, it was a clap back. Yeah, but it's not true. It does not matter. <laughs> Okay, and I believe where there's some smoke, there's some fire. I could tell by how he treat her on that show, he done stepped out probably more than a few times. I don't need the proof. I'm disgusted by his behavior towards Letitia on that show. He doesn't treat her like a partner, like how Courtney treats Stormy. And that's why Marceau has such an issue with Courtney and Stormy. And that's why he called Courtney Mr. Steele, because how dare you sit before me and, uh, and not correct every little thing your woman says and does. I would never allow mine to get out of hand. A lot of these men, they feel like if you are with a man that loves and respects you, he's a simp. 
he's weak. He's not a real man. And that's what Marceau was trying to communicate to Courtney. You're not a real man. You're not checking her. Okay. I even heard of a man that knew that um, one of his friends was being violent with his woman. And I think we were, we ended up uh, talking about it. And I'm like, you didn't do anything. No, it ain't my situation. No, no, you don't. And that's what I'm saying. Like the way some of these men think that's toxic. If you hear that your friend is cheating on his woman, is being physically abusive, disrespectful, like you need to step in, you need to say something. But a lot of y'all, y'all won't do that because what y'all feel is, well, he just being a man. He just, there's some type of excuse for the raggedy, dusty ass behavior. We didn't heard it down to the married to medicine with Toya's raggedy ass. Oh, he just being a man. Oh, that's just what they do. They just not like us. They just not. Well, and, and then you have uh, some stupid women that will say all oh, men cheat. No, they don't. See, when you say shit like that, what you're saying is it's acceptable when they do it. Well, no, they not. They just not loyal and faithful. Like us, you didn't make it a requirement, Ariane Curry. Ariane has no requirements for how she wants and needs to be treated by Martell. You want to know how I know she ain't got no requirements, how she ain't got no standards? Look at what she's been putting up with. You allowed yourself to be on the bench all these damn years and you never got a title. Well, she was the girlfriend. Yeah, while he had a wife. You ain't no girlfriend. You a side chick. That's some hood shit. Well, she was the girlfriend. No. (laughs) No. In order for your relationship to mean something to me, you need to be the only one. You over there playing second fiddle. That's why Melody came out with the side chick of the year award because bitch, I see you. You are a weak bitch that's on the first floor. You're on the bench. And when he feels like playing with your ass, he'll tell you to give, get up off the bench and you can come and play in this game. When he finds a better, shinier toy, something that can make him look good, which is what he did when he got with Sheree, what did he do? Put her right back on the bench. And her ass got to going crazy on social media and going back and forth. Oh, I'm so sick of him. I'm so done. You ain't shit. You still put up with the same shit that you claim you was done with yesterday and the day before that. And you go right back. It's giving Groundhog Day, sis. Nothing has changed. You still in the same stagnant place. With somebody else's husband. Because he's still focused on his ex-wife. When a nigga is into you, you will know that because it will be all about you. You ain't even going to be hearing about other bitches. (laughs) Okay? Well, he saw somebody. We all see people we attracted to. What? He ain't got to act on it and he ain't got to do all this flirting. I'm against that. That's how cheating happens. You think somebody just falls into some pussy? (laughs) No, the flirting, the flirting is the foundation for the cheating. Okay. Yeah, you look good. And that's what they doing when they doing that flirting. They just want to see. They want to see if if you are giving them um, choosing signals. Is she into me? And some of you niggas don't care. You could be, look like a bloated ass pregnant pig. That's what I had trying to holler at me. He was a plus size gal. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with being a plus size gal. That's a man, but honey, no. Maybe if you in the big and tall, like Courtney, he looked good. You know, he got some hype with him, but this nigga, he looked like he was pregnant. But I got a house. I got a high crap. Bitch, I don't care. Shit, I ain't. As women, we want to be excited about who we fucking to. We want to be like, oh, damn. 
Can't wait to tap that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put it on his ass. I'm going to ride his ass like a cowboy. <laughs> like a cowgirl, I should say. <laughs> yeah, nigga, okay. We, we want to get excited, too. But no, that's not what that nigga was given. That nigga was given buffet. <laughs> we could go get something to eat. We could go uh, grab a bag of chips together, okay, and a Pepsi that or a honey bun. That's what the hell, the ice cream truck ass nigga, okay, nigga. Let's go get some ice cream off the truck. That's what y'all be giving. I remember his ass used to come to work. That's another thing I don't like about fat guys. They always eat, and it's like, goddamn, we just ate. I'm not a size two, my damn self, but I don't just be fucking just eating and just, it's all, it's like, damn, they never stop. Every time I seen this nigga, he had a bag of chips. I'm like, nigga, when the baby do? Shit, okay, shit. What you trying to say? What you think, nigga? And then he used to go and blow up the damn bathroom at work. Ain't nobody in a hurry to take their drawers off for that. No, thank you. Shit. Always could smell his stinking ass number two. Just blowing. And then want to do all that flirting. And Get your ass in the shower, nigga. Old stinky ass. And stop eating every five minutes. God damn. That's like the equivalent to a motherfucker coming out with a cigarette like every it's like god damn you just smoke god damn let a few hours pass shit hell wrong with you and i'm gonna tell you that's the same thing with dr heavenly and dr damon right now but honey let me get up off of here okay i think i didn't make my point okay don't forget you guys to like comment and subscribe i am your girl brand new and i will check you guys out in the next video